Well, hello there. My name is HW, and thank you so much for watching Tone Jinky TV. That is a cool chord, is it not? I mean, that chord is just cool as a cucumber. <laughs> All right, comment below if you know what chord that is and what I did to that chord to make it sound cool, like a, like a nice glass of lemonade on a southern summer. I'm in a mood, you can tell. Hey, here is a trick for the Kemper that I have been playing with, and I've actually got some performances that I'm working on for everybody. And in doing that, I've kind of stumbled on this trick. It's the one cab trick. It's the one cab trick. Kemper cab, HW? No, not cab, K-A-B. See it on the screen, K-A-B? No, 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 this is C-A-B. We're talking about the cabinet module in the Kemper. Boom, here I am in Rig Manager, and uh, uh, look at this. I'm playing uh, this profile right here. It's the uh, 64 Vibroverb Clean, right? And it sounds like this. It sounds really good, check it out. <laughs> It sounds wonderful, wonderful. Let's go down here and let's find um, like another profile that we want to play around with. And okay, here's one. Uh, let's try, this is a favorite profile of mine. It's um, Dumble Phonics NMB 3, 3 plus, why not? 3 plus, uh, maybe I do three sometimes. I don't know, three plus. I don't see three on here for some reason, but here it is, check it out, sounds like this. It's cool, it sounds good, um, you know, there it is, it sounds, it sounds like a thing. It doesn't sound bad at all, but how does it sound compared uh, to the vibro, the vibroverb clean over here. It sounds like a different setup. And then, of course, um, you know, you come over here and you do something like, uh, here we go, here's the uh, 60, 76 Mars Artist J3 Plus. Listen to that real quick. <laughs> different like different rigs and this is a product uh, it's a function of the Kemper really if you think about what we're profiling we're always trying to get after um, the the coloration of a microphone different cabinets you use so one of the things that I think is really useful is in my profiler uh, I'm gonna put this up but I'm just calling it the one cab um, I'll put this on the website you'll be able to download it I'm just gonna call it the one cab uh, performance and all I've done here is I've equalized the um, the effects, but also the cabinet. So what have I done? I've taken my favorite cab. It's one of my favorite cabs. And you can see right here, it's this 1964 Fender Vibroverb cab. And I've taken those three profiles and I've applied just the Vibroverb cabinet on them and also given it all the same effects. So basically taking the Vibroverb as our base and saying, hey, um, what would it sound like if I ran three heads into one cabinet? That would be a lot more of a, of a consistent, cohesive sound. And it's, it's the trick of running one cabinet with all your profiles in a performance to sort of give you um, a more professional, polished, uh, um, constant sort of um, uh, 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 feel. It's so, so that the, the, the peaks and the accents of the microphone placement and the microphones used, those aren't changing. It's a very constant sort of um, uh, 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 a feel across multiple amps. So I got this idea really from a, a buddy of mine named Kevin Marks. And um, 
he was, he plays with a ton of artists here in Nashville, and he was telling me how he had a gig coming up. He was, he, he wanted to use um, profiles of his Fender Deluxe, but he was also using profiles of my Purple Plexi profiles. And so he liked the Purple Plexis, they sounded great, but he also wanted something a little cleaner, a little more Fender-y, maybe a little more lively in the cleans. So he was using his Fender Deluxe, but they just didn't sound like the same kind of rig, right? And so he actually switched out the cabinet of the Purple Plexi and um, he was using Purple Plexi with a Purple Plexi cab, and then he used the Purple Plexi cab on his Fender Deluxe profile. And instantly, it sounded like kind of what he wanted. So I thought, can we apply this same thing to, uh, uh, you know, to this performance? So check it out. Here I am. I'm in performance mode. Got the Kemper in performance mode. And um, I, can, I can click on any of these. Here is now the 64 Vibroverb Clean, and this will sound the same. <laughs> Now, let's jump over and give ourselves a little more gain, but we still have the same cabinet and the same effects. So we should sound a little more similar. Check it out. And now we go over something way different. Here is the, uh, it's the 76 Mars Artist J4 Plus. I mean, this is gonna be completely different. <laughs> To me, that's a really cool trick. If you're building performances and you aren't using this one cab trick, you should probably check it out. It's as simple as just coming over here, right clicking, and you can put, uh, um, you can you can disable the cab, you can unlock the cab. When it's unlocked, you can lock it. You can lock everything but the cab. I'm not sure why you do that. Maybe you want to unlock everything though, and you're just you're just here, and then you want to lock the cab. That's what I do. I I tend to in when I'm building performances, I want to have all the same effects. I want to hear how everything sounds together in that same thing, get all the tones right. Then I start changing effects for delays, verbs, and all that stuff. I hope this has been helpful. I call this the one cab trick. And uh, in the past, I've talked about, you know, maybe it's a good idea to try different cabs. I think this is one of my favorite cabs, by the way, this 64 uh, Fender Vibroverb cab. It's super, um, super versatile, super awesome. Um, one of my favorite all-time cabs. Um, you should definitely save this like in your favorite cab folder or the cab trick folder. Um, I know we've done one before um, right here with some of my favorite cabs. I don't even have this as my favorite cab in there, but trust me, this is one of my favorite cabs. It is really good. 
Uh, you can apply this one to it seems like almost anything and it just sounds big and fat and full and it's the speaker I would like to have. Also, pro tip, I'll cover this in another video. Every Dumble amp I've ever done sounds like money with this 64 Vibroverb cab like every one of them. I've even thought about just expanding some of the packs and building them for you and just putting them out there, but you, you can do it. Just lock this cab on, go through the Holy Cow, the Steel String Singer, they all sound amazing with this one cab trick. But the one cab trick for me is really the most valuable uh, when I'm building performances. And I've been doing that a lot lately for different guitar pickups. Got some videos coming up about that, about how to dial in the Kemper for different pickups. Cause I got these incredible pickups from Lambertones that I'm so excited about. I love them. I've been HW. Thanks so much for watching Tone Jiggy TV. Tons more videos on the way. HW, out. Mm -hmm.